What is going on guys? Today we're gonna be doing a review on the Scalpel SI It's a 2020 model Just got it a few weeks ago and we're gonna continue testing it right now So far it's been, you know, pretty good ride This uh, Lefty Osho fork it feels pretty good I'm used to riding more enduro type of bikes and I was surprised how good this 100 millimeter travel fork feels like I was expecting to be bottoming more often but that's not the case it's uh, it's got a really plush bottom and and it's very supported on top I I did bottom I think once or twice so far but I had to really push hard to get this thing to, to bottom out it's like 90% of the travel 95 I'm gonna reset the o-ring right now before we go to the do the the ride who we'll, we'll see how much trouble the back also I'm using all the trouble but when you're riding it it doesn't doesn't feel like it you know I'm I set my my sack to the recommended pressure by the manufacturer and uh, it's been good Tires, I upgraded the tires. I have the the Maxis uh, Recon right here, Recon on the back. And then I also swapped the front and I got the Maxis Icon on the front. This one came stock with Schwalbe tires, but I really, really didn't like the the performance of the, the front tire right here. I you know the type of terrain that that I ride on my local trail. So I swapped to this icon. Actually, this is a 2.35 on the front. It came stuck with the 29 by 2.2, but uh, the way the the knobs were shaped on the on the Shravi like it didn't have good traction when cornering and pushing the bike you know so the, the side knobs like it was just not holding and I crashed a couple times two times to be exact after that I said you know what forget this Shravi let's get this uh, Maxis and uh, they've been pretty good. So let's go for a ride and I'll show you what my local trail here looks like. Let's go for a ride here in the local trail. And this little... Hey, what's up here? There you go. I went out. Another one. Small jumps, you know, but like I was saying, that lefty ocho fork feels pretty good. Supportive enough, you can do some jumps, and it's not like your enduro bike, but it's good enough for cross country and hitting some jumps here and there. <laughs> here we are. As you can see, I'm riding over hard pack. It's got a layer of like loose dirt on top, so these icon tires 
are really good they hook up well I haven't had any issues like I did with the Shrawleys The rear of this pension is also really good. It doesn't dive in the stroke too much. out of shape having me riding much lately Very slippery down sections right here. Saddle, climb this little one. Another fun little down section. climb but god it makes you work out I don't know why my heart rate is so on four point seven
We've been riding this bike for a few hours now and uh, like I mentioned in the beginning this lefty ocho fork it's just it's so good man it's performance it's impressive um, look at the how much trouble I use so far I haven't haven't bought them out see we still have a few millimeters of travel to get all the way to 100% and on the rear the rear yeah we, we definitely are using most of the travel on the rear but you hardly ever notice it it's it's pretty impressive you know what this Cannondale scapo I see and do I I was a bit skeptical at the beginning you know because I've been I've been riding enduro bikes and downhill bikes and I just wanted to do some you know workout you know, stay in shape but after riding this thing it's it's a good bike you know it can take you for the long rides and uh, can still hit some decent gnarly stuff with it highly recommended so yeah if you have any questions let me know I'll try to make some more videos riding this bike and show you guys what what this bike is capable of doing so stay tuned see you soon